Hey, it's Eric here at Peachtree Classic Cars out on a cold Georgia evening with a 1972 Chevrolet C10. And this is a really cool truck. Um, gonna take it for a quick spin and show you around. 454 big block, automatic transmission, power steering, power disc brakes, 20 inch wheels. shifts through the gears perfectly smooth this truck's got a lot of power but it's not a high performance built 454 it's it's uh, basically stock it's got a nice sounding exhaust uh, stock exhaust manifolds but to me it's just perfect because uh, you know it's not over cammed where the brakes don't work and just other things that we've been through you know with the high performance builds are great but this is just a I guess a nice cruiser and if you stomp on the uh, stomp on the gas on this thing i mean it'll peel the tires all the way up the road i mean it's still a 454 got tons of power so um she's still cold oil temperature oil pressure is great just sitting at idle right there at 50. <laughs> tried to get the fan going but uh it seems like i don't know if it's one of the resistors or the motor's out or what i couldn't get the fan to turn on does have an aftermarket stereo. 2019 Buick Encore. Hey, it's Steve Craig, and right now my friends at Jim Ellis. And uh, one of the nice things too, that works great, and it's obviously you know the aftermarket styled, so it goes in the original uh, hole, which means it's not cut. And then another thing is it's got here the uh, place to plug your cell phone in if you want to do that. You can plug a phone or MP3 player in, so that's nice. Brand new um, uh, uh, glove box as well. Nice sounding exhaust. Also opens with one finger. Let's see uh, right here and watch it pop up. Pops right up real easy. I'm gonna turn the engine off so we can hear a little better with the video. This is a pretty truck. It's not a perfect truck, but man, these trucks have gotten they kind of gotten out of the stratosphere when they're super, super nice. So uh, here we are, beautiful engine detail, power brakes. Um, you can see two disc brakes. Those look like the Camaro style. I believe their drum, original drum in the back, disc in the front. I see the little groove in there like they have on the Camaros. I guess they did that uh, back in the early 70s as well on these old trucks too. Power steering pump, reservoir really clean underneath the hood inner fender wells firewall rust free nice solid hood i didn't get a chance it's so cold my uh my hose is frozen i didn't get a chance to try to wash some of this out it looks like a lot of that would actually come off uh one spot here on the front if you can see this crack in the paint right there and uh, actually, the guy that sold this to me owns a paint shop, and he said, I never bothered with it. You know how it is. The shoemaker's kids run barefoot. But, you know, he said, hey, man, 150 bucks, you know, I'll fix that for you. Beautiful blue C10. It's got the white top, big back window, 20-inch chrome wheels. Tan out cover. And underneath the cover, I don't really don't want to unsnap it, especially not for the video. But underneath the cover, the bed is actually kind of, you know, it's it's it was a work truck at some point, kind of dented up a little bit, as you see in here. It's got a rubber mat. So if you wanted to show truck it, take the tan out cover off. You'd want to do something with the bed, and uh, actually would probably 
take this out and maybe put a wood bed in is what I would think about doing. So I've got a few dents under there, but really I'm, I'm normally not a fan of the tan out cover, but I actually kind of like this. And I thought, you know, if I kept this around my shop, I might kind of like to have that for transporting, you know, parts and things like that. So get right up on the truck, looking for any other imperfections. Really the paint is slick. It's really, really clean. For some reason, my camera started off in this like wide mode, so I'm having a hard time getting up close to it and seeing the whole thing. Um, trying to look for imperfections on the truck. One little ding there, looks like it got touched up. Other than that, really super straight body. And other than that little tiny ding and this little spot on the front, I don't see any imperfections in the paint, really. Chrome looks good, front bumper looks to be new, original looking grill. Chrome wheels are in nice shape, although I'd noticed one as I looked really close to it. Also, uh, rear bumper appears to be brand new as well. Lights work, turn signals work. And what I was going to say is one of these wheels caught my attention. And I thought I saw just a little bit of chrome flaking off of it. And it looked like they were like black underneath. And I just was like, you had to catch it just right. There we go. Right there. That spot right there for some reason. See that? I think that was the only one that I saw. Chrome mirrors on the sides are nice. Interior, brand new door panels, door handles, brand new carpet kit. Of course, it's a little dirty from us riding in it. Brand new seat cover. Headliners all painted, brand new. Uh, sun visors, dash pads, new. I mean, the whole interior is new. It's got tilt column. Um, horn is not hooked up. Or at least I, tr I think I tried it when it was on. Yeah, which is not unusual. And I did not try the emergency brake. Uh, brake release. Yeah, I don't think the uh, emergency brake is hooked up. That's not unusual for these when they're automatics. Actually, it's not unusual when they're manuals either. Up underneath the truck is pretty solid overall. There's a couple of spots of rust right off the bat. You can see one spot here. I'm trying to let the camera adjust. And then this is probably the worst spot of rust on the whole truck. And they're really not that bad. A couple of spots inside the rockers. There's a spot right here. I get way up in here. I'll try to turn the camera around so you can see this. There is a spot right there. Other than that, the floor pans look really good. The frame rails are 100% rust free. And it's gotten up, starting to get a little dark. It's after five here. I'm trying to let that camera adjust. So the nice thing is cab corners look like they're in good shape. Underneath the truck back here, didn't see any signs of rust at all. Really, really clean, in fact. It's got a lowering spring kit. And then the same as on this side as the other, as the driver's side, the passenger side's got a little spot of rust right there as well. And this is a common thing. And then it looks like somebody did kind of an amateur welding job to fix the rust on this side. So it looks like both sides had that that's, you know, kind of common rust on the rockers. Um, and then again, uh, panel, uh, cab corner on this side looks good. Couple of tiny little spots, you can see this, but the size of my fingernail. Really, if I was personally, if I was keeping this truck, I don't know, I get a little bit anal. I might, I might have my buddy who's a welder fix those things, a couple hundred dollars, and tell him be real careful with the paint because it is nice. Just a really clean undercarriage. Other than those, you can see some new parts here too. And man, the brake stop, awesome. This is a super fun truck to drive. It looks like there's a little light cut loose there. I'm gonna have to fix that. This little, looks like this turn signal right here is loose. Let's see that happen sometimes, so. Um, but anyways, uh, this uh, was a buddy of mine's truck. They've been driving it regularly and actually literally for Christmas drove this truck from Atlanta, North Atlanta, all the way to Daytona, Florida and back and um, zero problems. I mean, it's a great running, great driving truck and uh, just super fun. And like I said too, love this one. Just, I think this is the right price for, tr for these trucks. 
which have started to get real expensive. And I don't think it would take much if you wanted to go next level with it, clean up the rust underneath, touch up a couple spots. I would not even, not even closely consider uh, painting this truck again. Do a couple of touch-ups, have, have somebody do a, you know, a quality job on that. I also forgot to mention real quick, um, brand new all glass on the entire truck and weather stripping is brand new, brand new wipers. Uh, the only the only glass that's not and weather stripping that's not brand new are uh, the vent windows on both sides. They didn't mess with them because they're actually in really great shape. So got nice little tinted windows all the way around. And uh, what a cool truck. PeachtreeClassicCars.com. Uh, check us out. And uh, this is going to make, make somebody a real fun, fun vehicle.